Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kim and I am a mum of one and I'm 29. I have Isla who is just coming up for four in a couple of days time. So today I am going to show you, by the way if the lighting's a bit dodgy I do apologise, I'm just using natural lighting because if I set the ring line, light up it would take about 10 years <laughs> to get it sorted and then I would probably have lost the plot by then. So, let me show you exactly what I bought. Uh, did I tell you it was going to be a, a, a haul? A toddler shopping haul? Anyway, so I'll, now it's coming into winter, a lot of um, summer stuff obviously has to go away for her. So, I now I thought I really need to pick up some bits and bobs that keep her cosy and warm. Through the summer she wouldn't, she only really wore dresses which was a pain in the bum. But in the, in the winter obviously it's Scotland, it's freezing all the time. Um, so I thought, I usually shop in NYX, that's where I get most of our stuff but I top it up with supermarkets. So I'm going to do a wee haul every week from the different supermarkets. I've got a Tesco today and I'm going to do the other supermarkets <laughs> the weeks following. So let me show you what I've got so far. So let me show you what I picked up now. I don't know if you can see it, you can see this. Um, Where's the other arm? Ah, oh, there we go. So this is a wee checked blouse. I will insert photos if she's had them on. Um, this is a wee checked blouse and I love this because it's just that wee bit more dressed up than it would be um, just with like leggings. Um, you can, instead of just like wearing leggings and a top, I thought this would be nice with like this, a wee pair of dark leggings and a wee pair of brown boots. It's got a wee frilly neck and it's got some gold detailing and I got this in a 4 to a 5. Now this was £9. Um, oh god, by the time it focuses, my arms will break. <laughs> so this was £9. I, I mean, it's, it is good value for money. But, um, it's not the thickest, so I'd usually pop in a wee vest underneath something like this. Do you know what? Let me see if I can pull you back just a little bit. No, wrong way. You don't want to see my ugly mug. So that is this. I think it's lovely. It's just a wee bit more uh, less plain than just putting a, a top on. So that is number one. Number two, we're channeling a bit of the cat slated here. We have this beautiful, beautiful, um, my arms are sore, <laughs> uh, top. I know it's not great, the lighting on the camera. This is a wee leopard print top. It's got the frilling at the bottom. It's got a kind of frilly detail down here, like a wee kind of scallopy detail. It's got wee cuffed sleeves. And I, it's got a couple of buttons at the back. The only thing is, some of these buttons, I don't know if you can see, there's big gaps here. So I don't know what that'll look like on or how low it'll go. Um, cause she'll probably have a vest on over this so it'll probably sit up about here but hey ho, I mean she's four, nobody's going to bother about that. I just think that is delightful. Um, again, just with a pair of leggings and boots, I think that would be lovely. It's a really nice little top and that, I got that in a 45 and again that was nine quid. Um, yeah, I can just, do you know how when you go to a shop and you, you just build like a picture in your mind of what they're going to wear? Well, yeah, I can see what she's going to wear. A wee pair of brown boots with that would be lovely. Now, again, let me just ju adjust myself because my legs are getting sore. I got this beautiful top. Now, this is a lot thicker than, um, a lot thicker than the other two. These are more kind of... Thinner, I mean, you, I could see my hand through these two, but this one is lovely and thick. It's, it's just one of those really cosy winter ones that you get. Again, it's got little um, frilly details, which I think are really cute. It just adds a wee bit of something, doesn't it? It goes a wee bit longer and it, it comes out a little bit. So again, I actually think when I put it against her, she could get away with tights and boots with this because it ran that wee bit longer. Um, or you could go size up again and just roll the sleeves up and put this with tights as a little dress. Um, Again, it's got lovely little buttons but the buttons here completely cover the back so it's not gaping open. I really like that. It's re it's one of those really cosy winter dresses or tops that you, you kind of picture kids in at this time of year. 
and I think she will love this. Again, if I've got pictures, I will insert them. Next, I thought trousers, leggings and tops are nice, but I do like a, a really nice dress or just dresses in the winter again with tights and wee boots because there's loads of little boots um, and I thought I would get this. Now, let me see. This is a lit I don't know if it looks that nice on camera, but it actually is really nice on. This is just a little khaki dress that um, I got from funnily enough to school. Um, it's got two little pockets here. I'm sorry, I'm really uncomfy sitting here. So it's got two little pockets at the breasts. It's got, I like, I just like a wee collar me girls. It's something a bit more, not masculine, but it takes the edge off being really, really girly, doesn't it? It's got wee buttons down the front and it's got a wee kind of, it's almost pleated um, bit of the shirt, so it, um, dress, so it doesn't just hang down. I really like that this the sleeves have wee buttons on them and I can picture this with boots and tights again. This is a boots and tights. <laughs> boots and tights. That's all you ever wear in the winter, isn't it? Boots and tights or boots and leggings. Um, I can, you can roll that up. I can picture that kind of rolled up with wee boots and she's got a couple of wee cute bangles on and like are we here in a wee bun? It'd be really, really cute. Oh, my arm! My arm! I feel as if my arm's going to fall off. Tells you I'm not fit at all, am I? I'm just one lazy, lazy lady. <laughs> Anyways, so, oh yeah, and the price for that was a tenner. It was ten quid. Um, I think as, like, with anywhere, oh God, I'll never focus. Like, um, with anywhere, if you... The, the bigger the size of clothes, the wee bit more expensive, I think. Some of these tops started about £8 and the older they get, the more expensive because obviously you're, mo you're using more fabric. Whew! Shut up, Kim. <laughs> just shut up. Anyways, yes, so I just love that. Again, if um, I took any photos with it on, I will insert it here. Now last but not least, when I went into Tesco I set myself a budget of about 50 quid um, and I probably will do that. I'll set myself a budget with the other supermarkets as well so I don't just buy loads and loads of stuff that she's not going to wear just to show you. So the, um, I've got one more thing and I'm trying to think of what it came to. So let me show you this first. So this is a wee skirt. Now I love this. It's got the wee kind of, it's like a belted detail on it and it's just, I just love this. It's just so nice. It's got little pleats, let me show you. It's needing ironed obviously, but it's got little pleats and she's had this one. It is a tiny, tiny little bit big in the waist, but I can picture her with like a polo neck on or a turtleneck or, yeah. And it tucked in, like tucked in here so... I mean, that little bit of bulk will just bulk it out and it'll hold up. I mean, I could stick a stitch in it, but again, I don't know if it'll show. I'm, I'm hopeless at sewing, so it's like, does it show or does it not? Anyway, she'll grow into this one if it doesn't fit. There is no... Some of the skirts you do get nowadays, you can adjust them. Um, like, I don't know where i seen one and it had something like this and you could adjust it and just make it that little bit tighter, but this is lovely. And it also comes with a pair of white tights but I don't actually know if I'll use the tights or if I would put this with like um black tights or I don't know what other stuff other colours I just you you as I said like you build a mental picture in your head of these little outfits and the way they're going to have their hair and the, what they're going to be wearing in their feet and then if like if they have an outdoor jacket on and Oh god, I'm sad. Anyways, so this is a lovely little skirt. I love this. I mean, skirts right now, I just think are beautiful. And they had these in a couple of different colours. They had them in a different couple of check colours as well. I think there was a pink and a, was it a black and a white and then there was a red one. And it was lovely. 
and I never got in another colour just because I got it in another colour from NYX that will show you in another haul. But yes, so this is what I picked. This was, I think I took the price off this, but I think this was, oh no, I never, 12 quid. And I got it again in a size 4 to 5. So, beautiful, beautiful little skirt. Um, so yeah, as I said, like, I will be set myself a budget when I go and do any more hauls from the other supermarkets and I do shop in Tesco, I shop in Asda and I shop in Morrison's as well and I, you do get the most beautiful stuff and you know they've got gorgeous little boots and lovely accessories and you literally could go mad in there but that is this week's Tesco haul so what did I get like five things and I spent, it came about £49 and I think that's pretty good value for money. Um, some of the materials obviously are thicker than others and it's sometimes I think the, the supermarkets are either a hit or a miss because with the pricing because sometimes you can get it just as cheap in like next or a more kind of, not a higher end but you know what I mean, a, a more expensive place for kids clothing but yeah, I'm pretty happy with five items for 50 bucks. 50 bucks, as I would say. Um, and yes, and if I have any photos, I will insert them and show you what exactly she wore with it. But stay tuned, and next week I will be doing a Nasta haul. Thank you very much, and goodbye.